Okay, so I have my timer set, and I realized during the last video, or when I started this, to stir my resin, I actually ran out of the Let's Resin brand. So, I am using, for the very first time, J. Diction resin, and I have never used it, and I am looking forward, because Julie says that she has used it, uh, Marva from Marvelous Artsy, um, and I believe, uh, what is it? There's a couple other of my YouTube channels that I follow that have used Jade Diction as well. Uh, Steve's World, or I think is what it's called, I can't remember. But um, when I post this video, I will um, attempt to link some of the products that I use at the bottom in the description area. And I will tag some of those. Such as the Let's Resin Ram or Let's Resin brand, and I cannot talk today. But anyway, um, so far, if you can see this, there's not a whole lot of bubbles in there, and I'm stirring pretty vigorously on there. <coughs> but this may or may not—it'll be too much for the four little druzies. It might be enough to fill up the hearts. So if that's the case, which would be fantastic, by the way. Um, then I can use whatever's left because I'm only going to be using stir with my left hand like I said the holographic ultra fine glitter that I got from Hobby Lobby I got it on sale for 99 cents by the way not $3.59 um, and I look forward to seeing just what this stuff can do for me um, again I'm using about four ounces, two ounces of the part A, two ounces of part B, and I usually stir between, depending on the amount of resin, three to four minutes. If it's anything over eight ounces, which I have not yet done, I would probably do five or six minutes. So I have about 15 seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and stop my timer and add the glitter in. Like I said, I want just enough to add a little sparkle, a little bit of shimmer, but nothing to overpower what I'm doing. Now in regards to the puffy hearts, the glitter is not going to do any damage because it will actually be behind all of the flowers and things in, on those four little hearts. So that will actually be behind all of that. When I pop those out later, probably tomorrow sometime, those little flowers and whatnot will be the front of my resin hearts. Um, real quick, I will show you here in just a second a couple of things. One of them is one of my mistakes, and that's this one. I was trying to go for a seashell theme on a beach, which I got the little ocean waves and stuff, they look pretty decent. But I forgot I was building, I should have put the seashells first and then add the sand with the blue behind it. But this is how this piece turned out. So this is my reminder that I need to build from the bottom to the back. Now, um, if you use a lot of the heavier glitters, they will sink every time. So keep that in mind on your own resin pieces no matter what you're using for a mold. The ultra fine glitters they still sink a little bit but you can see this is more of a a glitter that kind of stays where it's supposed to almost like it's weightless which is what I was looking for in the other two pieces. And then this is with a mica powder. They don't sink, but they do kind of look kind of odd on the back of it, but it's very pretty on the front. Very creamy looking. This is made with a polyurethane resin with some red pigment added to it. 
not quite what I had in mind, but it's still very, very pretty. So with that being said, I have stirred my resin and I'm hoping I didn't go crazy on the glitter for these heart or for the um, drizzies. But I have a feeling that I may have went a little heavy handed, but we'll see because it doesn't take much to fill those up. All right, so let me get a paper cup and we'll do it that way. Oops. That way I don't have to worry about using a whole lot at one time or going and spilling it over. All right, so we're going to start around the edges here. And hopefully everything will work out just oh yeah that's gonna be pretty that is going to be absolutely gorgeous I hope I didn't overfill it if I did it's not a big deal I can use a set of nippers that are fairly inexpensive I got these off of Timu it's like two four five or six bucks I think so we continue to pour and if any of the glitter would settle into the bottom it's going to stick in those little crevices and make it very very sparkly on the opposite side which it already will however just getting this to fill up cover up those little flowers and i think it's going to be very very pretty when they just get done tomorrow Get a little bit more try not to overfill the little knobs that uh, will pop out the spot for you know ribbon or metal hanger fishing line you know whatever you choose to use to hang up your pieces there's so many op or options that you can use to hang these up <clears throat> And I still have plenty of resin left. So let's get that off the top of that. Okay. The only part that needs filled in is right in here over that little firm like piece. And this one needs it pretty much everywhere around the edges. And sometimes just a popsicle stick, a toothpick, um, you can get the little silicone tipped like nail um, fingernail dot things such as these here. The silicone wipes off really easy. And then you can use these ends to put your pigments or dyes and things like that into your resin as you go. You can spread out your resin a little bit more with the smaller edges. There's so much you can do with those. All right, just a little bit more. And if you're ever questioning how much you need in a piece, drop down to about eye level because you want some of them to dome or get just a little rounded not overly much because that could cause you problems when everything's trying to cure but sometimes it will actually run over the edges and then it's kind of a mess okay that's all I'm going to put under those so next I'm just going to fill the rest of the hearts simple enough right and again you do not want to overfill these because I have done that and it is absolutely a disaster sometimes all right there's a little bit more in that one now I am hoping that I have left these to cure long enough to where it's not going to offset what I've already put in there. I'm hoping that it will actually stay the way it's supposed to 
and that it is all cured to where it's not going to move the flowers and everything like that. Alright, just need a bit more of one heart. Give me one second, I'll be right back with you guys. Scoop, or scrape this up into my little paper cup. Because these little paper cups, you can wipe them out, you can reuse them, or you can throw them away. It just depends on what you want to do with them. But if you have your living close by, like, I don't know, you maybe you have a local Dollar Tree or a Dollar General, Family Dollar, um, Five and Dime kind of place. Not that they have those anymore. But you could find those pretty much anywhere. Shop and Save, Kroger, I'm not sure, has paper cups for like little kids to use. Um, like, especially in the summertime, you, know, you got the little Dixie cups. That's basically what these are. Alright. I got a little resin all over my hand. Get that cleaned up real quick. Baby wipes and alcohol are your friends, guys. Remember that. And I'll show you here in just a second how I use those. Okay. Now, your resin will shrink just a bit when it's drying out. So, if there's any sharp edges after you've read, oops, almost overdid that one. Please don't overfill. Just a tiny bit more on that. All right, now I'm just going to put a tiny little smidge on my honeybee because I need her to have a little bitty flower on her. And I don't necessarily want because if I'm not careful there's going to be a ton of little bubbles but I don't want to peck at her too much because her little legs will fall off and that is definitely not something that I want alright I get that cleaned off a little bit flip it over and the little metal ends on these are amazing because you could use those to dislodge air bubbles sometimes. Not always, sometimes. You can, I don't know if you can see down in there, but there's still an air bubble there. So I'm going to try and dislodge that with a toothpick. That is one stubborn air bubble. There we go. got it okay that was a play so I'll show you the trick with the alcohol here in just a minute so it looks like everything is fine everything has done just a little bit I've got just a little tiny bit of resin in with my honeybee as you can tell but not a whole lot because I don't necessarily want a huge amount since I'm going to actually have a little flower there um let's see since you're already in here and you're working you know what I have just the flower we will use it's really pretty purple rose and then all I'm going to do is stick it right where her feet are and we're just going to let it sit there put just a little bit more on top of that because there will probably be bubbles around that rose and that's okay I'm, I know that could happen okay so I have the tiniest little bit of resin left and I'll try to find let's see ah here we go we're going to put it in here it's not going to be enough to fill it and that's okay because all I want to do is give just enough 
here in the center. Make sure you squish them around so that way you get out. These softer molds are really good for this. You can just kind of squish them and it kind of takes the air bubbles right out. Or it helps anyway. It helps to line and harden inside the molds. That way you can have the desired effect once you actually put in and you, I can now use like a different color, um, blues, purples, yellows, you know, any kind of color that I want on the inside of this rose and it's going to look like, it should look like it has glitter, or not glitter, but like dew drops maybe. At least that's what I want to go for. And tap it down a little bit. Slide over my B. And that's pretty much it for those. So out of 8 ounces of resin, I have one motorcycle license plate. I have one Easter egg jewelry box. Four pendants or um, key rings. I have four beautiful ornaments, which this one I'm going to have to take some resin off as I did overfill that one a smidge. And that is fairly easy to deal with. And again, Julie taught me this. So take a dry paper towel and kind of lay it on top. Let it do its thing and pull it up. And this one's got a little much too. Of course it could be because it's sitting at an odd angle too. I'm hoping that it's fairly level, but it might be a little awkward. All right, and just throw that paper towel away. And if there's any left around the edges, you can use a baby wipe. You can use another stick. Like I can just get in there and pull some of that right out. Same thing for this one. If I need to, which I may, just get in there and just kind of pull some of that off the top. And wipe it on a baby wipe or a paper towel. And for the most part, it's good to go. Alright, I think I got everything. If not, I can use a little set of nippers or something down the road and deal with it that way. Alright, so we wiped off the stick. Now, I'm going to move you around to my trash can. Not that you want to see a trash can, but I don't want to spray any alcohol over my floor either. That's a little messy. Alright. Now you can see all the resin that's still down in there and kind of running down the side. Now this is isopropyl alcohol. It's whatever you get on the counter at Walmart or dollar store. Just spray it. And if you use baby wipes, on top of it because they're already wet you can see maybe the glitter has already come off and it's pretty much clean on the outside now so I'll take my stick out and wipe the stick down now I can reuse the stick if you get resin on your counter or your workstation same principle same baby wipe I've already sprayed the inside There's most of it right there. Get another wipe or a paper towel, doesn't matter. That alcohol will help clean all of that out of there in no time. I don't know if you can see the glitter. There you can. And just finish cleaning it out. There you go. All ready for the next batch. Oh, we missed a spot. These little mixing cups are amazing because they're silicone, so even if your resin dries on it, 
it just peels right off later. All right, so that's basically all I have to tell you all for this evening. Like I said, tomorrow we will be unmolding some of these. And let me, it's going to be a little noisy, so bear with me for a second. Now, when I'm talking about doming, I don't know if y'all can try to get a good view for you. You can almost kind of see, maybe, there's other, a lot of other stuff there, the, how it kind of domes on top. Let me move this out of the way. There you go. Now you can see it, right? Right there. You kind of see how it comes up over the top just a little bit? That's what I'm referring to. So anyway, for those who have watched, thank you. Please leave a comment like share the video and i will show the final results sometime tomorrow thank you bye bye